Shelangat Kirui is relieved to see her baby recover from the deadliest of childhood diseases. Baby Fever's illness was misdiagnosed for weeks. Initially, he was treated for the common cold. No matter how, how much I tried to give him the, the medicine to subside the fever, it didn't respond, so I was alarmed. Fever is now responding well to treatment. He caught pneumonia even though he had been immunized. Fewer children are dying from pneumonia today in Kenya because they now get vaccinated against it. But around the world, about 170 million children under the age of two do not get immunized. When they get ill, up to 40 million of those cannot get treatment. It's simply too expensive. But even with vaccination, some children will still get the pneumonia infection. Not all strains are covered. Almost half of the children we admit in our pediatric unit in Kenyatta are admitted because of pneumonia. One baby is malnourished, another has diarrhea. Both conditions exacerbate severe pneumonia infection. They should be in the pediatric intensive care unit, but there's no room. Eight-month-old Becky Joy was luckier. She's been in the ICU for nearly two months now. This is where they discovered the pneumonia was out of control. And then I thank God because when we came here, we were able to manage her because she was almost dying. She was almost dying. The treatment that has kept Becky Joy alive is too expensive for many other children across Africa and the developing world and four children will have died during the telling of this story. And yet pneumonia is preventable and treatable. And so, BBC News, Nairobi.